Welcome to my channel, Mindset Academy, where we want to reproduce this figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen using the principle of tangency. Now, the first thing you have to do is to draw your horizontal line this way. Let's make it in the form of a horizontal line this way, right? And the other thing you have to do is to draw your vertical line this way. Now they're both meeting at this point. Now this point you're seeing here is the center point you're seeing of this circle where my arrow is pointing. Now the first thing I will draw will be that circle there. And the circle you're seeing here has a diameter of what, 30, you can see. At this point here, it has a diameter of 30. So we need a radius to draw a circle. So half of 30 is given to the word 15. Then I'll take my compass and I'll measure on my meter rule. 15 millimeter. Right? So when I do that, I will come to this point here, where they meet at this point, And I'm going to draw a circle which I will take in. You can see that? That's the first step. The next step is this other circle here. We need to get the center. Right? And if you look at this arc here, at this point, you discover that from this center to this point here is 56. It's just 56. So it means that the distance from this center to the next center here is what 56. So I'm going to measure 56 on my meter rule to this point. So this will be the next center here. So with the help of my T square, I'll just draw another line this way. I'll draw another line this way, faint line. You can see that. So on that point. There's another circle there that has um, a diameter of 26 and I'll need 13 in order to draw the circle of diameter 26, right? So I'll place it here and I'll measure what? 26, 13. So this is 13 here, right? And I'll place it at that center point here and I'm going to draw the circle in which I'm going to take in. You can see that that is the two circle that we have now if you notice again there is another circle that is rounding up the circle and that circle has a radius of what of 20. is that the key and i'll measure that radius of what of 20 there on my meter rule i'll get the radius of 20 and i'll place at this center point here i'll draw a circle faint line first and the other one here if you look at this 24 radius of 24 a bigger circle as a radius of what 24 i'll measure the radius of 24 this way this is 20 and this 24 and i'll come here i'll draw the circle here this way Paint line now this is this circle we have here. It has a radius of what 20, as you can see from the diagram. And this other circle here has another radius of what 24, as you can see in the diagram. There's a sub is an arc that is connecting these two circles, right? And that arc has a radius of what of 36. Due to the fact that the arc is going in. It means that these two circles are external to that circle, that arc there, right? And when they're external, you're going to add the radiuses. So the best way to remember, just when it is going in, you're going to what? You're going to add. So in adding the first radius, 20 of this circle, since I'm considering this side now, plus the radius of that arc, which is given to be 36, that will give us 56. And I'm going to measure 56 on my meter rule. 
this way I measure 56 on my meter rule from 0 to 56 here you can see that and I'll place it at this point I'll strike an arc you can see the arc I've striked then the other one we have 24 you add it together with 36 you're considering this the radius of this is what 24 the radius of the arc joining both of them is what is 36 so 24 plus 36 that give us what 60 i'm going to measure 60 on my meter this way so from this point now measure 60 to this point and i'll place it at the center here and I'll strike an arc where they meet will be the center of my what my circle here let me call it point what point P so from the center of that circle point P I'll place my compass there and I'll take it to these two circles you're going to get it, get it to that point You're going to take it. You can see that? That will be the first thing you will do. Now, the next thing you're going to do is to get this other center here. Right? And how can you get that? First of all, you construct an angle of what? 5 degree away from this line. Right? So, let's do that and see. 5 degree so when I place my compass this way my protractor this way turn it upside down this way showing this point is on the same center point you can see that now this is 0 and in between these two points here is 5 degree and I'm going to draw a line from the center point that will pass through the 5 degree this way you can see that now the next thing is to get the center of the circle on this line discover that there is an arc that is moving from this center point here this arc you see so I'll just take my compass and I'll place it at the center to the center here right and I'll draw an arc let me just use a center line to draw the arc so where they meet here will be the center of that circle now that circle has a radius of what of 20 and I'll measure 20 on my meter rule 20 this is 20 here right and I'll place it at that center, center here and I'll draw a circle but I'll use a faint line you can see that now in doing that there's an arc that is connecting this circle and this circle together and that arc has a radius of what? Of 76. Now what do you notice? Since the arc is going outward, right? Since this arc is coming out as it is bulging, you're going to what? Subtract the radiuses. Any circle coming out that way, it means that what? It is internal. That means these two circles are internal to that circle. Just like this, these two circles are external to the circle. These two circles are internal to that circle. But you see when it is bulging, you subtract. And when I'm subtracting, I'll subtract 76 from 20. I'll be having what? 56. All good now. So I'll measure 56 on my meter rule. This way. 
I'm at 56 on my meter rule from here. This is 56 here. Right? And I'll place it at this point where the center circle is. Since I'm, that is the circle I'm considering. And I'll strike an arc here. Paint line. And the other one also, if you look at the result of 24, so you subtract also 24 minus 76, that'll give us what? Another what? Another 52. Are we good? So I'll measure 52 on my meter rule. You see 50. And this is 52 here. Let's do that. Now we'll have there. Now good. And I'll place it at this point. I'll check another arc. So they are meeting at this point here. So I'll just take my compass to that point. Then I'll join these two circles together. I'm showing that they are well placed. You can see that. All right. Now the next thing I'm going to do here is that there's another center again. Another center is 45 degree away from this line, as you can see in the diagram. So I'll just take my protractor this way and I'll measure 45 degree. This is for 12 degree here. From 0 to 45 degree. Then I'll draw a line from that point. Vertical line. Where the line intersects this arc here will be the center of the other circle. And that circle has a radius, as you can see, from here to here. It's going to be what? 20. And I'm going to measure radius of what? 20 on my meter rule. So this from here to here, given to be 20. You see that? And I'll place it at this point here. I'm going to draw a circle. 20. Paint line. Now, this is a circle here that has a of what? This arc is coming out. It's con connecting these two circles together. And when it's coming out that way, you say it is what is internal, so we are going to subtract. So first of all, since the ratio of this is 20, and this is 20 means they are identical circles, so we will just subtract one of them, 20 from 76, that will be 56. I'm going to measure 56 on my meter rule, this way, this is 56 here, right? And I'll place it at this point, center point, like an arc at this side. I'll place it at the center point also, like another arc to this side. So they are meeting at this point here. So I'm going to connect these two points to you see here, from here to here. You see? You see that now the next thing is I should be able to the other one is a circle that's connecting an arc connecting these two circles together as you can see in the diagram here and that's the radius of what 20 since they are identical also we have 20 here and 20 here since they are identical so what I'm going to do here is um I'm going to add the radiuses since it's going in right so add the radiuses. So 20 plus 20, 
to give us 40. So I'm going to measure 40 here. Right, and I'll place it at this point. I'll strike an arc. And I'll place it at this point also. I'll also strike another arc here. You can see that? So where they meet, they are meeting at this point. I'll now connect these two points together. Can you see that? So I can now take in these points here. You have. And also here too. And also here too. Also here too. Right now, in it here, if you look at your circle here inside your diagram here, you see that there's a kind of an opening, right? And the arc here, the circle here, has a result of what of 12 and in both sides. So, what I'll do is I'll measure the radius of 12, here's 12 here, and I'll place it at this point, this line of 15 degree, and I'll draw this semicircle there. I'll come on the line of 45 also. I'm going to do the same thing here. So you take your compass to the center point here, and you connect these two points together. Also here also connect these two points together. You can see that. Now we successfully reproduce this figure out. The next thing we have to do is to start drawing our center lines, right? This is what we have. We successfully produce this figure in using the principle of tangency. So, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.